Well, good morning. It's Sunday and it's sunny. So I did a quick video of what I've been up to. Not a lot really. Just been a bit mad with work. Well, that's coming to an end now anyway, so. A couple of weeks off. Beautiful. No, just not to. We're just going to concrete this area here. It's just full of dead plants, and if anyone can kill a plant, we can. Started to paint the garage doors, that's the colour we're going for, getting rid of all this sky blue. The, um, that was just a big mound of dirt with an old tree in it. So we just dug that out and um, try and get that concreted in the next week or so. Something like that. There's the new uh, carport that I've built. Even done a bit of welding on it. I just got a lot of these 2.4 second hand posts and then chopped some down and welded them up. It's been up for a good while now. Not falling down. I got new uh, sheet for the roof, reused the old timbers and the old guttering. The old motorhome's not done much, not a time to do anything fun yet there's the recycling 10 cents probably 60 70 dollars worth 10 cents is there um so i've got a fair bit of concreting to do what used to happen was that all the rain used to run off the garden off the top down down these steps all the way down here straight into here straight into the car park. So I'm going to re carry on this hop right through and we'll concrete this bit, plies down there just to try and kill most of the vegetation off. These are all the little block pavers. That was where the, um, underneath the washing line, which was in that upper area up there. I've cut it down in width, very wide, 16 foot or something. So made it shorter and put it there and obviously these pieces of wood here are just to kill off the uh, vegetation again and we'll just run a concrete path there and then we're going to lift all these levels up up to the height of there so I put this bit of a retaining wall in and I have some old sheet so I'll put the tin on there try and protect the timber as much as I can but we're just basically going to come up to the top of that for this whole area and this is just a ramp that I put in for the wheelbarrow so all the stuff that was in the triangle at the front of the house where that horrible tree was I've lifted the levels up here so you can see how I have gone with the retaining wall it's 200 mil eight inches and uh, this is the same um, that's how far the soil has soil's come up to the top of it these aren't these are just resting there so there's my other ramp up so there was a, a you know a fair old slope on it and this is where the the washing really gig was can see where the path went up to it so by putting it down there then this is all that the social area and so I've been building this for the last god knows how many months put the roof on it in uh, March end of March and I've not really done anything else with it I framed out the this side this side is um, going to be a bit tricky, I've got to, I'm going to get over that slab, there's nowhere near from smashing that up and getting rid of it, I'll be here for a year and a day. But anyway, um, obviously I've stepped it because you can see how far the, the ground is out and that's why I've levelled all that up and I will grasp that, this area just here 
I have not dug enough soil out but when I dig out the rest of the drive I'll fill that and then fill that lower area up yeah, so we're getting there it's just time consuming these have been thrown away so we've uh, we, Royal We, Kirsty, she took all this like scaffolding kind of fencing which I don't know went eight foot high along here I put these posts in yesterday um, and I'll cut them fence panels down and nail them up I'm only going to go to the height of this fence it just looks more prettier than the the prison look shall we say uh, so Kirsty's chose some paint which I've not mixed yet and that's to paint all the soffits and around these windows just basically eliminate the sky blue there's another shelter put on over the um, over the shed that's actually a bigger shed that's lent up against it so I'll just cannibalize the two just to make it it won't be these as wide, the same width it will be, just be a bit deeper and then I can tidy all that area up and another area I've got in concrete is this edge this is that big circular area we was going to use to sit in but we just prefer it up there, it's a bit quieter so we basically just need to shutter up this area here I'm only going to come out I don't know, a foot if that, and then that'll just bolster what's there. And I'll concrete these wings in as well, and down that side. So I've got plenty to do. Also, got a few days or a week and a bit to get some stuff done. getting the washing out like a good boy uh, had a bit of mag with the VFR uh, the battery wasn't charging at all it was like I don't know I'd do 20 K's and it was dead um, I was hoping it wasn't the stator I was hoping it was just the reg wreck I changed the battery and it's no better so I took it into the dealer going to service it and um, well anyway new stator, new reg wreck but you know if that was the original it's uh, what, a 14 year old bike is it and uh, it's got 82 k's on it so we'll certainly see how it the rest of the bike's life I would have said the uh, VFR is doing well can't fault it it uh, was exactly what it says on the tin really it just starts every time goes everywhere and uh, it can uh, pick its heels up when you give it a good twist on the throttle uh, I was using that while the uh, VFR was in in a poorly state but back to the VFR now save this one for uh, you know my bits of holidays I know you can't see much in the garage because of the lighting but anyway There it is. Uh, the car's doing all right. You know, it just keeps chugging on. It's getting a few more aches and pains. Doesn't do very many to the gallon. The shit, really. It's doing about twelve at the minute. I don't know what's up with it. But I don't use it that much. I tend to use the bike as much as I can. There's never any traffic going to work, but coming home, you're far better off nipping in and out. Uh, not really much else to say now. I'm just going to get on with some bits and pieces and um, watch the origin tonight. See you.